Did y'all hear what she said? Uh -huh. She said, this is her church home. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that's a, you know what, that is a blessing that you said that this morning. I, I just welcome you. And again, we thank you so much for taking a few minutes out to visit us here at Loving Arms Outreach Ministries. Again, your first visit, we welcome you. You're a visitor. Your second visit is your home away from home. So you're always welcome here at Loving Arms Outreach Ministries. Amen, amen. 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 If you don't mind, we're going to move right along, and we're going to have, before the choir would sing this morning, I am going to ask that Bishop Michael Harvey comes up, our pastor. Come on, stand to your feet, and let's welcome our pastor with loving arms this morning. Come on. Oh, come on, church. Give God some praise. Give God some praise now. I thought we were going to lose our mind last night at that gospel concert. Amen. Uh, how many of us was out there last night? Amen. And I just looked at all the loving arms folks when the pastor stood up and said, John chapter 10, verse 10. <laughs> and I have come that they may have life and have life more abundantly. I thought we were going to lose our minds. Amen? Amen? Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Come on, let's just give God some praise just one more time. A wonderful meeting with Apostle Nina that will be doing the prayer breakfast for Priscilla and Aquila and Pastor Shirley Hudson and she will come up and pass out some flyers and things later on today before the end of the service. And I know that usually at this point of the service we do our affirmation and confirmation before our speaker and the choir come up, but I not only want you to grab your Bibles on today, who in here has a cell phone? Anybody? No, matter of fact, I want you to grab your cell phone and raise them up in your right hand so we can see them. Grab your phones. Pastor Bowen, I know what you're doing with your phone. That's it's all good. But, but grab your cell phones. Everyone grab your phone. Everybody got your phone on, right? Now, I don't want to change anything. While I preach, I want you to tweet. When I say something that you like, or while Pastor Stewart is saying something that you like today, I want you to tweet it out to your friends. Amen? But before then, I got something else that I want you to do. Right now, I want you to pick a person that's close to your heart, close to your mind, close to who you want them to hear, and I want you to call them up right now. That's it. Yeah, no, if they're, if they're at church, I want you to call someone you know that's not at church. We, they're not at church with us. Please be seated. I want you to go ahead and sit down. I want you to call someone that you love, that you've been asking to come to church, that hasn't been able to come. We're going to bring church to them this morning. As a matter of fact, I'm even going to do it too. I'm going to call my mom. Let's give God some praise. Y'all think I'm playing around. Pastor Nina, Apostle Nina gave this to me yesterday. We're going to do it. You got your phone on your spirit? You left your phone on. That's all right. Oh, Mike got it. All right, get them on the line here and tell them we're going we're gonna to pray with them over the phone. Hello, Mom. Hello, sweetheart. You are live on the air here at Loving Arms Outreach Ministries. What we've done is I have everyone in the church calling their family members and their loved ones that couldn't make it to church with us today. And we don't want to take a lot of your time, but we're going to pray for you. And we're going to do our affirmation and our confirmation while you are all on the phone with us. Amen. Amen. Let's all rise and stand on our feet, church. Grab your Bibles. Yeah. And then we're going to have the choir sing. Amen. We're going to take up an offering and we're going to have Pastor Stewart because we got another church to go to this afternoon. Amen? Amen. 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 Let's give God some praise Amen. for that. All right, church. Don't get it too close to that uh, speaker. I might blow the ears out. Grab your Bibles. Raise them in the air with me. And if those of you who are at home with us, just grab your Bible and touch it with us and repeat after me. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. And today... I shall be taught the word of God. And in this word is my salvation. In this word is my healing. In this word is my deliverance. In this word, I'm set free. I can have what it says I can have. I can be what it says I can be. 
I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I will be a living sacrifice. I will be a humble servant. I will be a love in action. Now, if I receive this word of my own mind, this word will be dead to me. But if I, if I receive this word, with the revelation of the Holy Spirit, this word will be life for me. Look over to your neighbor and say, let's receive life this morning. And give God some praise. Oh, come on, let's praise him, everybody. Praise him, praise him like you mean it. If God's done anything for you in your lifetime, just praise him. Give him out a shout this morning. That's it, young people. Most gracious Heavenly Father. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come together as your church family. Oh, Father, you know all our needs. You know all our desires. And, Father, we thank you. We thank you for this most invigorating day. We thank you for all the hopes that live in our lives. Now, Father, we want you and we ask you and we beseech you that you prepare our hearts for the planting of the seed of your word. Yes, yes, oh, Father, forgive us. Forgive us when we fall short and allow the wilds of sin to choke out the growth and the planting of your word. Mm, yes. Father, help us. Help us to see things that go on in this world from your perspective and empower us with your spirit that we may respond not only in our hearts and our minds, but also in our words and in our actions. Oh, Father, let everything that we do be led and inspired by the word of God. Father, now we ask, as a church body, as a church family, that the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Father, we breathe in despair, but we exhale devotion. Oh, Father, we breathe in poverty. Oh, Father, but we breathe out and exhale prosperity. Oh, Father, we speak life into the lives of our family members. Father, we speak prosperity into the lives of our friends. Oh, Father, we ask that we that you continue to allow us to be free, Father, free in the word, free from sin. And, Father, we're not looking at quantity. We're looking at quality. And, Father, we ask that you continue to touch each and every single one of us in everything that we may do in Jesus' most precious and holy name, together let all of God's people say amen. amen. If you would just sing with me. Thank you, Lord. That's it, St. Church. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Father. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. And I just want to thank you. Children, all the children go over to Children's Church. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank you. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I just want to. as we pray over our prayer board on this morning. Yes, yes, Lord. Each and every single person that is listed on the board, yes. Father, you know their needs, you know their desires. Yes. Oh, Father, reach out right now and touch them. Let them know that you are God. Yes. Yes. Oh, Father, yes. we pray healing. We pray deliverance. Yes. Oh, Father, we pray that you answer all the needs in the prayers. Of all of those represented, not just on the prayer board, but in our prayer box and in our hearts, Father, in the name of Jesus. And for this, Father, we thank you and we glorify your name 
In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Give God some praise amen. just one more time. Elder Kevin and the Loving Arms Outreach Ministries Choir.
required, I believe, before I was all out of order. Ain't nobody catching. I know the children are getting ready for their resurrection services and all the other good stuff. We want to just continue to encourage them. Amen? Amen. 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 Okay, with that, if all hearts and minds are clear, I would like to, us to stand on our feet, take our right hands over and point to this great man of God, and repeat after me. Pastor Stewart, Pastor Stewart. bring us a rhema word. Oh, come on, say it like you mean it. Say it like you mean it. Pastor Stewart. Pastor Stewart. Bring us a rhema word. Bring us a rhema word. Bring them in, bring them in, bring them in, bring them in. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. I just want to say that I thank and praise God for being here. You may be seated. I just thank and praise God for being here. It's been a blessing just to make it this far. Yeah. To yeah. make it this far. You know, see, so you might say, well, how far is far? Well, a day, a minute, an hour, even a second. Mm. Come on now. Praise God. But I just thank and praise God for being here. Yes, yes. And, and, and I'm yet trying to give honor and glory to him. That should be our daily attitude. Yes. Should be our daily life, praise God. Amen. And I'm going to be speaking on a couple of things today that people are not talking about no more. The Lord just put it on my heart. But before I do that, I'm going to have my uh, prayer partner, my sister, to come up. If she would, sing a song for us. Amen. I have asked her if she would. Amen. And would y'all please receive her, Evangelist Elizabeth Killian Nelson. Amen. Almighty God, to yes. Pastor Hargett, uh, Sister Hargett, Amen, uh, uh, Elder Stewart, all of the ministers and uh, people of God. Amen. It's a pleasure to be here, and I, I just I know I was asked to sing, and I I just I just want to say God has given me prayer partners all over, not all over, but across the this nation, and through praying with. Uh, Friends, that's how I met Elder. So I thank God for him. It's good to see a man of God speaking in tongues. Amen. 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 Good to hear. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. I'm a songwriter. And this song I haven't sang in, in quite a while, but I'm going to sing it to the glory of God. Amen. The weapon that freed me. Mm -hmm. Was it the crown of thorns in your skull, Lord? The weapon that freed me, or was it the sword, Lord, pierced in your side? The weapon especially for me, before birth you knew me, right now you know me, all my ups and downs, all about my victories, you bought me with a price. A redemption plan for me you have purpose for freedom in this life. Lord, I know it was your blood running down your forehead, dripping on your shoulders. They paid the penalty of sin for me. Lord, I know it was your blood running down your forehead, dripping on the cross. They paid the penalty of sin for me. Lord, I knew it was your blood running from your side, dripping on your feet. That paid the ransom of sin for me. Before birth you knew me, right now you know me. All my ups and downs, all about my victories. You bought me with a price, a redemption plan. 
For me you have purpose for freedom in this life. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's give her a hand. Let's give her a hand. God bless you. I truly appreciate that. I called on her at the last moment and, and she responded. And you know, we just need to be able to respond, especially if someone asks you, praise God, to assist in the praises of God and to assist in the work of God, we ought to be saying yes. That's right. That's we right. ought to be moving right away. That's right. Not next week, next month. Amen. 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 And, and, and the song she sang is about the blood running down his forehead. Yes, yes. Uh, about the blood, see? Yes, yes. And, and, and the Lord began to lay it on my heart. And I was talking to Brother Kevin Strauder. And I said, you know, people are just not talking about the blood no more. My God, my God. They're not my God. ministering about the blood. So today what I'm going to do, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the blood. If that's okay with you. Yeah. See, some folks uh, might say, oh, blood, that's nasty, it's this, it's that. No, 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 blood gives life. Yeah. I don't know about you, praise God, but blood brought life to me one day. Yeah. 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 Somebody is not responding, maybe they didn't get the blood yet to bring the life. Amen. But anyway, praise God. Praise God. I better cool that I don't want to be ran out of here. I don't want nobody to run down. But I just want to say that, praise God, sometimes I get a little loud I, I, with the mic and stuff. And so I just, I guess I'll have to try and adjust or whatever. But I just thank and praise God that he gave me a revelation on things. And I, uh, you see, I, I, I don't teach just on everything. But sometimes if we'll stop just for a minute and listen. See, the Bible said, hear ye, hear ye. Not anything, but hear the voice of the Lord. So with that, I'm going to be coming out of some scriptures here. Some of you are going to say, huh? What that have to do with the blood? Guess what I'm going to come out of first. We all know it. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. Amen? Amen. If you want to write these down and look at them later. John 3, 16. Ephesians 1 and 7. And Revelation 12, 11. Amen? Amen? Really, all of that is about the blood. Somebody said, well, John 3, 16, how is that about the blood? Hey. You'll see in a minute. You're going to see in a little bit. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. But anyway, let me share something with you. Just to try and, and, and get a little clearer understanding of what I'm going to be talking about. Praise God. Uh, we, we need to understand that the blood is just not liquid flowing, but it brings life. Amen. Amen. It brings life to every living creature that God created. Yeah. Amen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, man is different. If you remember, he said in his word, there will be no remission of sin without what? The shedding, the shedding of blood. Well, uh, he let certain blood be shed for a while, but he knew, and the Bible says that from the foundation of the earth, the world, yes, yes, yes. Christ was already appointed to shed that blood. How many of you know that? Amen. Amen? Amen. And so we're just going to look at a few things. I'm going to talk about the blood first. We're going to talk about the provisions of the blood. Amen? Amen. We're going to talk about Three other things. We're going to talk about uh, number one. We need to understand, like I said, about the blood. The historical dimensions. Eternal dimensions. And we're going to talk about the continued dimensions just momentarily. But I'm going to get into to, to the scriptures about the blood. Okay. See, we don't understand the power of the blood. Uh -huh, Lord, my Lord. And if we begin to look at it. Glory be to God, and we begin to understand it, and we begin to take it on the way we should, we will begin to magnify the Lord and glorify him in a greater capacity. Yeah, yeah. We won't go crying and moaning and groaning, but we will begin to call on the one who shed the blood. My Lord, my Lord. Come on with me, somebody. Yes, yes, All right. yes, yes. 
I'm going to read this just momentarily. I'm going to read and talk at the same time. I'll read a little bit and talk a little bit. Amen? Amen. Is that all right? Amen. 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 But here, we look We look at the historical dimension. Historical dimensions is, is the first dimension of the blood of the Lamb. It's history. The dimension referred to the period of time some 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago, during which Jesus lived on earth, he suffered indignities, wounds, and bloodshed. Yes, yes, yes. Amen? Amen. In that relatively short uh, space of time is the most significant period ever to have occurred in the history of the world and in the history of man. Mm -hmm. How many of you believe that? Amen. Significant, significant, important, yes. extremely important. Yes. Amen? Amen? And it goes on to say when Jesus took humanity's Seeing upon himself at Calvary, once and for all, mankind was given the ability to recon to be reconciled with his creator. Brought us back to God. Amen? Amen. And so we go on, we go on and we see we were given the gift of being able to draw close to him in a relationship of love as he always intended. Now, that is basically a historical dimension. Amen? Amen? The eternal dimension, second. It talks about the suffering of Jesus also somehow exists in a timeless dimension. A timeless dimension, it says. In other words, eternity is like timeless because it's not never going to end. Never going to end. And it goes on to talk about the Bible saying that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. We're not the same. That's why we need Jesus. My God. That's my God. why we need blood so we can be consistent in what we do. Amen? Amen. Amen. And it goes on and it talks about Revelation 13 and 8 again. Yes, yes. And it talks about how the lamb was slain from the foundation of the world. I'd say that up front. And it also talks about God preordained, preordained, preordained Jesus suffering in eternity and that they are also considered complete in all of eternity. In other words, it doesn't have to be repeated. He don't have to do it again. If you remember when God first brought about the blood, what did they do? Over and over. It was a lamb today, a bull tomorrow, a gold, a dove, and whatever. But once this was done, it became eternal. Amen. That's the eternal dimension. Jesus' blood is sufficient. God's mercy extended to humanity in all of time and space. So you don't need to say, well, you know, I don't know whether I can do this. I don't know whether God loved me enough that I can be saved. Extended to all. Uh -huh. Not just to the Jewish people, but to all. Yeah. Amen? Amen. My God, my God. The third dimension, the continued dimension. The third is a continued dimension of the blood of Christ. The shed blood of Jesus is an ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. You know, sometimes people say, I don't know. I feel like God didn't left me. I feel like the Lord didn't left me. That's the worst statement we could ever make. Because he made us a promise. He said, I will never leave you nor will I forsake you. No, I am with you always, even until the end. Amen. 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 And someone is with you, spirit, whether it be spirit, human, or whatever, until the end, that means you ain't got to worry. Right. It's all taken care of, praise uh -huh. God. Uh -huh. Continuing on down, let also talk about it still can and should be applied, talking about the blood, in the lives of believers throughout the world. Yes, yes, yes. Have a question. Are you applying? My God, my God. <laughs> Are you applying? Huh? We got we got to begin to apply this. See, a lot of times we look at the blood that Jesus said as the same as our blood. Amen? Amen, amen. It continues. It continues into an eternity. It doesn't stop. It is eternal. I tell people a lot of times, you know, we give up when we get down in the valley, praise God. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. My Lord, my Lord. But my the Lord. song saying, I love that song, it flows from the highest mountain uh -huh. to the lowest valley. See, if you're down in the valley, praise God, that blood can still find you. Uh -huh. It can yeah. still get you back where you need to yeah. go. Yeah. If you believe that the blood is true, if you believe that it's still alive, if you believe that it's still real. Uh -huh. yeah. my God. Somebody give the Lord a hand. Yeah. And the author goes on to say we must remain in the blood and we must remain and believe that it's real to us. How many of you believe it's real? Amen. How many of you believe it's real? Yeah. From the heart. Yeah. Not just, a, don't just because, well, the preachers, well, I raise my hand because the preacher, no, from the heart, yeah. praise God. Yeah. Yeah. From the heart, know that it's real. Yeah. It hasn't stopped flowing. It's still flowing. It is still alive, the blood of Jesus. Yes, Ooh. it is. My God, my God. Amen. 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 Remember the blood. Remember the blood, the author said. We must remember the reasons for the shedding of his blood. Yes. See, a lot of us, we didn't forgot the reasons. Yes. Right. See, it talks about how that the stripes on his back, and when they put stripes on your back, guess what? Blood gonna run down. Right. My God, my God, my God. Amen. I believe it said it was for our healing. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. And so it covers many, many things. We can't even begin to name the things that the blood covered. And I'm gonna go through a few of those things. But the blood, but the blood, if we only knew the power that comes through the blood, if we only knew the power that comes through the blood, we would begin to use that power. Yeah, yeah. We're God's redeemed people, and we need to proclaim the one perfect sacrifice of Jesus and his blood, which was shed to cleanse humanity of ignorance and sin. Notice, ignorance and sin. See, blood can bring about knowledge. Blood can bring about understanding it with on, knowledge now. and understanding then we can begin to make a transfer from where we are to where God wants us to be. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Amen? Yes. And so, as we, I, I, I'm going to pick certain parts because I don't want to be up here. I could be up here all day or whatever, talking about the blood. But I will say this. If you can get this book, get it. Mary Kay Baxter. Mary Kay Baxter, get it. Read it. It is so good. And it talks about the power of the blood, of the blood, of the blood. John 3, 16. Let's look at that first. Let's look at that first. Somebody want to grab that and read it for me real quickly? John 3, 16. Who got it? Who got it? I'll give you the mic. Since we started doing this on there, I'll give you the mic. Who, who's, got the, who's got John? Okay. Very good. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. Yeah. That he gave his only begotten He gave his only begotten son. son. Yeah. That whosoever believeth in him. Whosoever believeth in him. Should not perish. Shall not perish. Yeah. And have everlasting life. Amen. Everlasting life. Amen. So what does that say to us? First of all, why did Jesus die? Why did he shed his blood? Sure, it was for our remission of sin. But why would God give his only begotten son? Mm. Because of love. Amen? Amen? And because of that love, he was willing to let the blood of his son, even unto death, flow down, that he would die in the physical realm. But guess what? What did that do for us? Gave us that blood gave us life. life. Exactly. Amen. That blood gave us life. But he only did it because he so loved yeah. mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son. But in that scripture also, we have an obligation. Uh -huh. A lot of times we want to sit back and let it come to me. Mm -hmm. And I'll just sit here and wait, praise God. Mm -hmm. But that's not how it worked. Come on now. He gave his son. But whosoever shall believe in him, uh -huh. whosoever shall believe, amen, Man, man. You have to believe that he died for you. You have to believe that that blood was shed for you. Yes. You have to believe that that blood washes away the sins that we carry. My God, my God. Amen? Amen. If you don't believe that, it's not going to work. 
What does it say? Romans 10, 9, and 10. Somebody tell me very quickly. Confession. Believing in the heart. Amen. Amen. ABC. We got to confess it. We got to believe it. ABC. Amen. 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 If we don't believe the blood is real, if we don't confess the blood, then how are we really going to, to receive Christ and do what we're supposed to do? Amen. 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 Let's go over to Ephesians 1 and 7. Ephesians 1 and 7. Let's take a look at that very quickly. Let's look at what the blood, what does the blood do? What does the blood do? What does the blood do? Somebody might say, well, what does the blood do? What does it do? We're going to look at a couple of things there. Ephesians 1 and 7. Huh? Ephesians 1 and 7. What do we got there? Somebody got it? I'm going to let somebody share with me today on this. In whom we have redemption, how? Through his blood. How? Through, Through his, his blood. blood. Not what I can do. Not all the work I can do. Not all the money I can give. Not all the dancing I can do. Not all the shouting I can do. Yeah. Not because I'm saying good, but because his blood. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen? Redemption through his blood. You might share yours, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> You just bleed. You ain't got no power. Amen. Huh? The human blood, huh? Doesn't have the power that we need, praise uh, God, uh, to receive salvation and to walk in holiness and be that man or woman of God that He is calling us to be. That's it. Amen? Amen. And some of these, I guess it's voodoo or something, they cut the blood and rub their arms together and their fingers and whatever, praise God. Amen? Yes. And not only that, think about this. God just gave me this. He just gave me this. We will we, we see when we begin to make vows and treaties, we have to understand that even years ago, men used to make promises and vows and treaties with each other. And they cut their fingers and rub their blood together. My God. But that didn't mean nothing. That's right. But when the Lord, glory be to God, when the Lord's blood began to run, uh -huh. then the whole world changed. Yes, yes, yes. The Bible talk about how there was a shaking mm -hmm. and a rumbling yes. when Jesus died. Amen. The power of the blood. Yes, yes, the yes. power of the blood. Amen. And so we go down there and we see also that Jesus flush almost took over. You remember what we read in the Bible about him? He was praying. And I, I, I can imagine him weeping as well. And he finally gave in. He said, Father, to be thy will. We're going to have to be like Jesus. We're going to have to be like God, Jesus. We're going to have to give in and say, Lord, yes, if it yes. be your will. If it be your will. And then we're expressing, I'm going to follow the power of the blood. Yes, yes. Amen? Amen. Let's go to uh, let's go over to Revelations 12 and 1. I'm just going to look at a couple of scriptures here and I'm going to we're going to look at a few more. I don't want to be too long up here. Revelations 12 and 1. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We don't know enough about the blood. We are not searching the scriptures enough about the blood. Because if we begin to search and learn and know, we can defeat the enemy quite easily. Mm. Quite easily. There is power. Amen. See, there's a song that is so there is power, there is power. What kind of power does it say? Wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Not in the blood of Jerry. Not in the blood of anybody else, not in the blood of a dove, not in the blood of anything else. Because when Jesus came, what did he say? It is finished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's finished. It's finished. No more slaughtering of cows. No more slaughtering of doves. No more all these sacrifices. He was the sacrifice. Amen. That blood, that blood, that blood, that blood. Amen? Amen, amen. So when we look at Revelations 12 and 11, somebody want to read that for me? Somebody got it? Yeah. Want to read that for me? I thought you said 12. 
I'm sorry. 12 11. <laughs> they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. And they, and they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Amen. Amen. Read that, read that to me again. I'm going I'm to be ministering as you read it. They overcame him. They overcame, they overcame, they overcame. In other words, they overcame. They defeated. They pushed back whatever problem. They were able to overcome whatever problem. Go ahead, Pastor. By the blood of the Lamb. 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 Not any Lamb. Not the Lamb out there on the form. Not Joe Blow's form Lamb. But they're talking about the ultimate the one and only lamb that was made for the ultimate sacrifice, Jesus Christ. Amen. The son of the living God. Yes, yes. Amen? Yes, yes. By the blood of the lamb. Yes. By the blood of the lamb. Yes. That's how they overcame. Go ahead. And by the word of their testimony. And by the word of their testimony. Let me tell you this. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. The blood is working. But how about your testimony? Oh. Amen? My God, my God, and I've said God. this before. A lot of times, praise God, we, 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 we want to overcome, but we just don't be in the right position. We don't be in the right position in that the blood is yet working. The blood is yet working, praise God. Huh? Amen. How did they overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony? Well, the blood is working, but how about your testimony? It's your testimony. Do you have a testimony? The testimony and the blood working together is the power that's going to make you overcome whatever it is. Yes, yes. Praise God. Amen. It's going to have you overcome whatever it may be. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. I tell people this. The blood is working. But the reason that we don't have what the Lord said we can have many times is because our testimony. You say, well, testimony, well, I'm quiet. I don't like to speak. I'm a little shy, so I don't like to sing. I don't like to. Whatever you think may be your testimony. Let me tell you something. Testimony is not only speaking, but how you live it. My God, my God. Teach now. Amen. 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 Your prayer is your testimony. When you get in a prayer closet with the Lord, God, your testimony is, what is it? I believe you, God. I came before you because I know that my problem can be taken away. Lord, I'm calling on your name. Amen? And brother said this morning, 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, at my people. Uh -huh. Who's his people? We Who's his people? We are. We are. We're claiming. We're claiming. So we need to recognize that we are his people. Uh -huh. Who are called by my name. Mm -hmm. Are you called by his name? My God, my God. Yeah, you, you might say, yeah, I'm called by his name, but I don't believe in that blood stuff. Oh, well, you better start believing in that blood stuff if you're going to overcome. Uh -huh. If you're going to do what the Lord declared he wants you to do, you better start to believe it. Amen? Amen? In that blood? Amen. Some people might say, oh, blood, I can't stand But Well, you, you may not stand human blood. It might make you sick. And it, I, I, you may not know this. I was in Vietnam. I was a combat veteran, just to go off the subject just a minute, about blood. I was a combat uh, uh, medic in Vietnam, combat veteran. And I was 30 years old. But in all of my life, I never recognized that blood have an odor to it. An odor like no other odor that you will ever smell. And if you are in medical, I'm going to tell you, you have to be a special person. Because a lot of people cannot stand the smell of blood. In Vietnam, we used to sometimes see planes that take off. And glory be to God. Sometimes we would see blood when the plane would helicopters. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? 
come out of the plane. But anyway, praise God. There is no blood like the blood of Jesus. And I'm here to tell you since I was talking about Vietnam, the only way I made it was because of Jesus. Amen. I didn't know him. I didn't recognize him. I didn't know him. I didn't recognize him. But you know what? I didn't realize till late. I was like the prodigal son. I came to my senses. And I realized, I said, God, one for you, I wouldn't have made it. Come on now. One for you, I wouldn't have made it. That's right. Come on. Even though I was in sin. And I didn't like God, I didn't like people, I didn't like nothing. All I wanted to do was what Jerry wanted to do. Amen. And I used to raise a lot of hell. But you know, God had a certain future for me. Come on. And he kept me, Come on, and he protected me, and he brought me through, and it had to be by the blood. Yeah. 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 By the blood. Y'all yeah. yeah. have to forgive me, I'm, I'm I, I just... Right. Maybe I shouldn't even on. talk about Vietnam. Right. Right. Anyway, I just, I just thank and praise God. But the thing is, we have to understand. We have to understand that a lot of times God is so generous, he's so protective, and, and, and until you, when you ain't even right, he still gives you chance after chance after chance after chance. Thank you. How many of you had chances repeated? I have. I have. I don't know about you all. Every day. Oh, yes. <laughs> Even before, you know, and, 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 how, many, how many of you can think about this? Think about this. How many of you can think of things that happened to you when you were in the world? And then since you got saved, you began to look back. And then you recognize it had to be God. It had to be God. Only God couldn't bring us through. By the blood. By the blood, by the blood, by the blood. Only by the blood. Amen. Amen? Amen. But from time to time, we pray. My God. But do we remember the blood? Are we just saying words? Or are we really, really calling out of sincerity and believing that the blood is real? Believing that the blood has power? See, a song said has power, power, wonder working power, like I said before, says in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. See, we have to recognize we have no power, nope. but the power comes through the blood. Amen. Amen? Amen? And so, going on, going on, Jesus, God had ordained it. But Jesus, God gave Jesus out of love. He let him die out of love. Jesus died because he also loved. Yes, yes, yes. How many of you would die for somebody? Be honest. Be honest. Amen. I recognize the pastor's hand. A lot of you, a lot of you don't understand. Uh, that's okay, Pastor Bo. You don't, you don't have to. You're going up and down there. But anyway, a lot of times that people don't recognize, even also that, and I'm not trying to play up the military, but I, I will say this. You, 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 you have to, it, it's hard to think that you're going to die for something. Anytime you go into combat, you don't know. But you're willing to make that sacrifice. I remember when I was in the military, every time I signed the papers, I had to think about it. My God, my God. Your life is on the line. You better let them know, let them know. And so Jesus put his life on the line for us. Oh, my God, oh, my and God. And he paid the ultimate price. Yeah. But are we willing to pay the price oh, my God. for his glory? Oh, my God. Are we willing to pay the price? Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yeah. If we're not we're on the wrong side. We better jump somewhere. I don't know where you're going to jump, but if you're not willing to die, I believe the Bible said, no greater can a man do than to lay down his life for who? For a friend. Amen? Amen. Amen. And see, we, 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 do we really believe that? Do we really believe that, that Jesus was our friend and continue to be our friend? See, a lot of people think Jesus is dead, but he's not. He's alive and well. Amen. The Bible says, set on the right hand of the Father doing what? 
Making intercessions. Why? Because he loves us. Amen. And so when we begin to look, the blood was shed because of us. No other reason for us, for us and us alone. So we see also that in Revelations 12, 11, they overcame by the blood and the testimonies. I would admonish you to get busy with your testimony. Amen. The blood is already doing its job. But get busy with your testimony. Testimony is how you live. Amen. Singing a song. Praising God. Praying to him. Recognizing him. That's a testimony within itself. And there's many, many other things that are testimonies, but a lot of times we think it's only we speaking and speaking and speaking. A lot of times, actions speak louder than words. Uh -huh. Amen. You see people that are saying, I'm this, I'm that. But then, when you look at them, you'll say, oh, he say he's this, he says that, but I, I, I see how he's living. I see how she's living. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Let your testimony be that one that say, I love the Lord. Amen. I love the Lord. Yes. You don't have to speak it. Your actions speak it. Amen? Amen. Your goodness, your kindness, your giving. Yeah. That speaks it. Yeah. Your faithfulness yeah. to the pastor. Your faithfulness to your brother, to your sister. Give them a ride somewhere. Amen? Amen. Amen. You got to take full of gas. Somebody call her. I ain't going to give no ride. I ain't. I'm sick of him and whatever. Amen? Can't my do Lord, that. Can't my do Lord, that. My Lord, my That's Lord. part of your testimony. That's, oh, my That's Lord. what's going to help you overcome. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. Amen? Amen? There's a number of things that are testimonies besides just getting up saying words. My God. And a lot of times we Teach get up and say Teach words it. Teach it. that really are not coming from our heart yes. and sincere. Yes. We just speak it. Oh, well, they want a testimony, so I will say this. Mm. I will say that. No, let the Lord let the Lord give you what to say. Yes, 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 yes. I'll give you an example. I, 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 last night, I made up in my mind, matter of fact, Friday, I made up in my mind, I was going to speak on choose your pattern. Mm, mm, mm. Choose your pattern. My but God, I got up God. this morning, I got up this morning, and no. I was kind of under pressure. The Lord <laughs> said the blood, no. talk about the blood, the blood, the blood. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And, and, and then I got to think about I said, you know what? That is talking about choosing your pattern. Amen. The blood is talking about choosing your pattern in a sense if you think about it. Amen. See, we have to think a certain way. See, the Bible says, so a man think it, so is he. So we have to think right. We have to think about the blood. We have to believe the blood. We have to walk in the anointing of the blood. Amen. The anointing is already there, but you're just not walking in it. Amen. My God, my God. And we all, I, I'll admit, we all sometimes we on the path doing so good and then all of a sudden something distracts us and we slide on over to the right or slide on over to the left. Get back on the path of the blood. Amen. My God, my God. Amen? Amen. Amen. We got to walk that path. We got to walk that trail. In other words, we need to follow the one that shed the blood, which is Jesus. Amen. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Amen? Amen. And so we got to do that if we really, really want to do all that God want us to do. Amen. So there's a lot of other scriptures. I'm going to give you a few more just to look up, and I'm going to go ahead and get down here. Get down from here. Uh, here's one. We received the remission of forgiveness of our sin. Remission, forgiveness of our sin, 26, 28. That's in Matthew. Okay? Then we go, we're completely washed of our sin, Revelation 1, 5. And then, of course, again, being redeemed, Colossians 1, 14. Justified, regarded as innocent, Romans 5 and 9. We're brought near to God, Ephesians 2, 13. And I could go on and on, there's some more. But I just wanted to give you a few in case you wanted to look it up. See, because sometimes folks say, oh, He's a preacher, but I don't know about that blood stuff. Uh, you know. But go look it up. Go look it up. And we have to use scripture. We have to walk on scripture. In fact, if we're going to follow Jesus' path. Amen? Amen? So with that, I'm going to go ahead, shut down. God bless you. I hope when I shut down, you'll open up. 
and receive the power of the blood. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Give God some praise for the blood.